functional areas of the cerebral cortex are best understood in the lateral aspect of the cerebral cortex. Once we identify the central sulcus, the gyrus in front is the pre-central gyrus, which is also the primary motor area, Broadman's area 4. Moving anteriorly, this part of the frontal lobe is the secondary motor area, which includes area 6, 8, 44, and 45. The area 44 and 45, they are collectively known as the Broca's motor speech area. Anterior to this, this part of the frontal lobe is the prefrontal cortex, which is concerned with our judgment and personality development. In the parietal lobe, this area behind the central sulcus is the post-central gyrus, which is also the primary somatosensory area, area 3, 1, and 2. Above the intraparietal sulcus, the area of the superior parietal lobule is also the somatosensory association cortex which associate all the information, sensory information and related to the past experience with the help of which we are able to recognize the object even when our eyes are closed. The secondary sensory area is located roughly in the inferior part of the post-central gyrus. In the superior temporal gyrus of the temporal lobe, we have two functional areas, major ones. The primary auditory area which is area 41 and 42 located more superiorly and just beneath is the secondary mo secondary auditory area which is area 22. If you move more posteriorly along the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus in the superior temporal gyrus there is the sensory speech area which is also known as the Wernicke's area. Now we will have a look at the functional areas which are seen in the occipital lobe. The most obvious one is the primary visual area which is area 17 which includes the area of the macula as well. Adjacent to it is the secondary visual area which is area 18 and area 19. These areas they extend medially. The primary visual area is, is located along the walls of the calcarine sulcus and secondary visual areas they are located adjacent to it. In the medial aspect of the cerebral cortex we can appreciate the extension of the pre-central gyrus and the post-central gyrus in the form of paracentral lobule. The area in front of it is the site of supplementary motor area. And this is the prefrontal cortex, which we have appreciated in the lateral view already. Mm -hmm.